This is it. Rick and Morty, season seven, second to last episode. We got some big old feats. Let's talk about them. That's right, Rick and Morty visit Sasquatch country as they get ready to wrap up their season. This was episode nine, so we only have one left. And how did I feel about this episode? I liked it. I'm not going to say it was like one of my favorite episodes. I do. I am a sucker for the Sasquatch and the Pope. So either one of those work for me. So I'm going to say I liked it. Maybe a seven and a half. Hard to say. You tell me in the comments below what your rating is. I am the man you may know as Z, and I am from Our Reviews Will Kill You. Like and subscribe always helps. We appreciate it. Got to grow the show. But... What we do have here is a failure to communicate because you've got it's the episode kind of just goes all over the place. And that's that's what I think is the weird part of the whole thing. And I, I thought it was funny. And uh, we'll do we'll do a recap with some spoilers and we'll talk about the goods, the bads, and the uglies. You might not get some of the references. I thought some of them were a little too old, but I liked them. So let's get into it. Here you have, and the tone of this season's just been like wildly all over the place. So, and this isn't exactly like a dark episode. It's just like a, oh, okay, let's, let's do whatever. <laughs> Uh, so this one is Rick's, it starts with Rick killing Jerry over and over again so he can discover whether or not heaven exists. And he doesn't know that it's actually heaven, but he knows that it's a power source. And if you know anything about Rick since the first season, he's been looking for power sources. He doesn't have to rely on Calaxian crystals or whatever he's up to. So this is just another one of his scams. And of course, Morty's just like, oh man. Uh, it, it was funny that Jerry can't, he can't meet with his, uh, his grandparents, his grandmother's annoyed that it keeps happening. He keeps falling out of, out of heaven. And it's, it's, you think it might be a Jerry episode, but it's not. It's just one of those tricks. So what it really is is that, you know, Rick comes up with this idea and he had, he's been, Holding on to Bigfoot because Bigfoot, he, he might need him for something. He, had, he suspected he needed him, so he's been torturing Bigfoot. So he'd be really mad. So he wants access to heaven, Valhalla, or whatever version of the afterlife he can get himself to. So he's hoping he'll get killed. He'll get a perfect death by getting himself killed in battle with Bigfoot. So... And he already has it set up. He's got a clone. He's all ready. He knows what he's doing. Project Phoenix is in place. This seemed like a lot of research on, on older episodes. So here you got... It finally released Bigfoot. And Bigfoot savagely beats Rick to death. Um, I, I think it's, it's kind of funny... Uh, that he was saying like him torturing Bigfoot was a B story, but then it meshes with his A story. Um, Bigfoot beats him to death and he ends up in Valhalla on the battlefield where he gets killed on the battlefield and then goes back to get a beer, but he's naked and he finds out like, oh, okay, I'm in Valhalla. I know what to do. I think he tells them and he's Odin that's kind of amusing. Um, but then really what happens is uh, Morty is is upset as usual because he's like, feels bad. He feels bad for, uh, he, th he thinks that, that Bigfoot has his own religion and he, cause he appears to be burying his own, burying his body and praying over his grave. So, of course, Morty goes to interfere and is immediately killed <laughs> and sent to Valhalla. And then somehow, this part, I just, this is crazy. <laughs> the Pope brings in Bigfoot as his perfect assassin because the Vatican can't kill people, 
but a godless creature can. So they can just send him to do whatever they want. So now Bigfoot's in the Vatican, and they start using him as a to murder all of their enemies, like Satanists and, and I don't know, all sorts of weird stuff. Again, it wasn't like the funniest episode, but I, I liked some of this part. It was kind of amusing. Um, who else did they 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 talk to? Uh, I don't know who played the voice of the Pope. I didn't I didn't catch the end to see like I caught I caught the end credit scene, but I didn't catch who exactly was doing all the voiceovers. I do see Troy Baker's part of the show, and I thought that was the guy from uh, Last of Us, like a pretty famous voice actor. I, I'm still not 100 percent sure what he does. I should probably look that up. So anyway, uh, they know the Pope is using Rick as a like a decoy. Like Rick's uh, clone has a, a fail safe in it to keep it from getting killed. So it keeps running around and and basically Bigfoot just keeps chasing it and kills everything in his way to, because he wants to get back at Rick. So finally, um, Bigfoot gets killed and he ends up in Valhalla. And then they get part of the cloning process. And I did like this where they kept cl cloning each other the first time. He had a clone of Summer. And he goes, well, I figured out of all of us, Summer was the next one likely to die. So then he starts making better Bigfoot clones where Bigfoot is like, I'm a human now. He kind of likes it. And then they brought in the Universal Monsters, which I thought was kind of amusing. <laughs> they, they sacrificed the Universal Monsters, like the creature from the Black Lagoon, Frankenstein's monster, and dracula and the mummy and then they all get killed and they all end up as their normal selves in valhalla uh and then they have to defend themselves in valhalla like none of rick's uh none of rick's gambits work out because rick is like he doesn't realize that the pope has access to infinite power so then uh he has the pope popey ball so how do they beat how do they beat the uh, Pope? You take away his power. He doesn't have unlimited. Th that seemed like a Star Wars joke too, where they limited, they lifted him up in the air. That seemed like a, a a satire of Rise of Skywalker, which I thought was was kind of amusing. So then he sticks po uh, the Pope in the po Popey Ball, <laughs> which was he's trying to make a pun, and they're just like no one's laughing at it. But Morty wanted to make the joke. He thought it was a good joke. Of course he did. That's why they're. That's why they work so well together. And then they give an emotional goodbye to Bigfoot. They've made Bigfoot human, and he won't survive in the wilderness. And they're just like, "You got to go back to the wild." And they're throwing rocks at him. So if you didn't realize that, that was a reference to Harry and the Henderson Hendersons, where uh, I think it's the dad from Alf or something like that. It's a movie, and it's a, a Jim Henson production, I think where it's a really, really lifelike Sasquatch. It's actually pretty... I, I don't know if it holds up, because it's an 80s movie, but I recall seeing it at one point many years ago and thinking it was fine. So it was it was pretty good, because Rick has given Bigfoot the ability to speak, and, and <laughs> they're just like, go away. And then uh, the credit, the post-credit scene, which they don't talk about here, is the Pope... Who does the Pope fight? They have him. He basically, Rick enters him into like underground fighting and they get busted. They, he unleashes the Pope to fight somebody else and the Pope's just like going to pray. And then the cops come in and they're like, oh, this is an illegal fighting ring. So it's like supposed to be a uh, a joke around, I guess, a dog fighting ring or whatever, or like an illegal Pokemon fighting ring. So overall, not one of the best episodes not a bad one. It's a little weird. Uh, it's it was a step up from last week. That's for sure. I was I know some people like the Numericons one, but I just I just didn't find it to be that intriguing. I and I don't like not having Rick in episodes. So here's a Rick episode. I liked it. Tell me what you thought. Am I crazy for liking this one, or am I just a sucker for Bigfoot, Big Feet, and for the Pope as an enemy? So. Let me know what you think below. In the meantime, thank you for listening. We appreciate it, but catch our full-length podcast. We live stream it here on YouTube. It is on Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join the channel. Super Chat us. We have memberships now. You get exclusive content that you won't get anywhere else. You'll get to see the unbridled, uncensoredness of us if you join. 
And then, uh, yeah, check it out. We appreciate it. We love all y'all, but I am on to the next one. Mm-hmm.